Hello everyone! Today I'm here to present you some details about our new flagship printers, the K1 series. This one is the K1. And I will show you the details about this printer. For example, we have here the Core XY structure made by CNC with 0.01 of precision. As you can see here, this printer has direct driver and it allows you to print with TPU, carbon and other materials like engineering materials. It is possible because this printer can achieve until 200 degrees. Another nice detail is that this printer can work simultaneously with your PC, your cell phone or even the printer using the 4.3 inch touch screen. Uh, it's possible because Creality has some upgrades in their, their softwares, like the Creality Cloud app and also the Creality Print 4.3. The K1 series is a great upgrade if you think about the old printers like Ender 3, for example. This printer can achieve until 600 mm per second. And meanwhile, the other printers like Ender 3 achieve an average of 50 mm per second. It's 12 times faster than the regular printers. You can use this printer, for example, to prototyping, to create gifts for your, your family, and even to engineering productions like carbon fiber, filaments, uh, ABS, nylon, and other kinds of engineering materials. And to talk about fast printers, we need to talk about materials too. The materials are also important as the printers to achieve the 600 millimeters per second. For example, we recommend to achieve the maximum speeds to use ABS and not PLA. But Creality create a specific PLA to achieve high speeds, it's the Imper Series PLA. Uh, but for achieving the maximum speed, the best filaments will be the ABS. Uh, we can talk about, we always talk about it is a fast printer. It can achieve 600 mm per second, but not only that. When I talk about fast print, the heating time is very important also. And the K1 series can achieve 300 degrees in less than two minutes. Uh, it's very fast for heating also. Uh, and this printer, it has the auto-leveling system. It means that the user don't need anymore to lose time making the three the offsets, doing the manual leveling with the, the knobs. This printer can, can do everything alone. And as you can see here, it is enclosed chamber. So it means that you can print with engineering materials like TPU, uh, nylon, ABS, carbon, and other kinds of engineering materials. And another thing is this inter interest to see is the printer has a compact format. Uh, it can print 220 millimeters per 210 millimeters and 250 millimeters per height. And as you can see, the printer is compact. It means that your work desk, you don't need so many space in your work desk anymore. And we have some tips for you. For example, if you are thinking about to buy a new 3D printer, you, can, you need to think about how much speed you need or which type of materials you, are, you are need to print and things like that. If you need, for example, to use ABS, nylon or engineering materials, the K1 will be the perfect product. It's not only suitable for this kind of materials, but it's also, as you can see, a very beautiful product that you can bring attention, you know, and with the K1 series, you can also, as I said in the beginning, use all the softwares from Creality, as Creality Print or Creality Cloud on your cell phone. And the printer can print anywhere, any place. You can, for example, be in a shopping mall and see a product or a gift that you want to print and send for the printer by online. You don't need to be in the place anymore. Uh, it's very convenient for using your printer. And the quality is also very important, right? So, the K1 series is not only fast, but it's very, very precise. Uh, this printer can achieve 0.1 mm of precision, even working in the high speeds like 500 mm per second or 600 mm per second. And the K1 series is also very easy to use. As I said before, the K1 series has the auto-leveling system. The K1 Max uses AI and LIDAR to make the perfect leveling and can achieve 100% of success rate. The K1, it uses an array of sensors to do the leveling. It's totally automatic and the user don't need to make the Z offsets anymore. And as you can see here, 
All the mechanical parts of this new K1 series is made by CNC. The printer has also direct drive that can allow you, allows you to print with the TPU and flexible materials. And now I will show you guys how this printer is fast to print up. I have the chronometer here and we will ask the printer to achieve the 300 degrees at the same time. 97, 98, 99, 300. Less than one minute and 20 seconds. And as I said before, the K1 has an array of sensors to handle alone with auto leveling. And now I will show you guys how the auto leveling works. The printer will start to work alone and will do all the process by itself. Take a look. This movement is to handle about the resonance. During the leveling process, the hat goes side by side very fast. This is used by the CG sensors to, to identify if this has resonance or not. And now I'll show to everyone how the printer can start to print with just one click. As you can see, my computer is not connect, directly connected to the printer. Uh, and we will print in the vase mode using the maximum speed. Take a look. And the printer now, it will start to do the auto-leveling. It's totally optional. The user can enable or disable the auto-leveling auto at the first point. Uh, but we are using it as a demonstration. Take a look, please. And here we have the K1 Max. K1 Max is bigger than the Q1. As you can see, it can print 300 centimeters squared and has this flip cover on the top. And not only that, it also has an internal camera that allows you to record your prints and share with your friends as a time lapse or the full video. The K1 Max has also the AI leader. The AI leader is this sensor near to the print head and it helps you with the leveling and also with the first layer, to get the perfect first layer. I will close this door because we will print with ABS. Now it is needed to be have the enclosed chamber. And we will print a bench in 12 minutes and 40 seconds. Take a look. As you, can, you guys can see, uh, the printer finished in 12 minutes and 40 seconds. This is another example printed with K1, the small sister of K1 Max. And here's the quality. As you can see, it's the same quality printed in 12 minutes and 40 seconds.